Bonnet vents, why do cars have them? Typically, the cars that have bonnet vents are sports cars. They have them to keep the engine cool when the engine gets extremely hot, especially when you're pushing high speeds and pushing that engine to its limits. Not only do bonnet vents help functionally to keep the engine cool, they also make the car look more sporty. So even if you've got a car like mine, it can make the car look a whole lot different. So that's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to install some bonnet vents. Only difference is my bonnet vents I've ordered from Wish. Don't worry, they're still functional bonnet vents, but that does mean we're gonna to have to do some DIY on the car in order to get them to fit. So using a cardboard template and some masking tape, I got it planned out on where I wanted to actually place the bonnet vents on the bonnet. With it all lined out, the next step was to remove the sound deadening lining. I'll admit there's probably a special tool to removing these clips. I decided just to yank them off and uh, unsurprisingly, they flew off about 100 miles an hour. I've launched a few clips as well, I'm just trying to find them. Oh, okay. They look like these. Oh, blimey. <laughs> How many? I don't know, quite a few. They all went everywhere. After some words of wisdom from my all knowledgeable father, I decided to mock up a second cardboard template to follow that when I decided to start cutting. Okay, so this is it. Uh, this is the moment of truth. Obviously, now we've got it all taped up and ready to go. Uh, I've pulled out the big guns. We've got a big old drill with the whole drill bit on. And the plan is to drill a hole about here so that I can get a jigsaw in and then cut out the rest. That's the plan. But at this point, there's no going back. So here we go. Hold up, before I drill, I just remembered I actually need to cover the underneath so that I don't get any metal shavings into the engine. That would be a very bad idea. I can't lie, this is the moment where sweat started rolling down my forehead. If you don't know much about physics, drilling metal makes a lot of heat. Be careful. It's so weird looking just having a hole in the bonnet. That's it, it's, there's just a hole there now. You can see we're straight through. I've now got to repeat this in each corner so that I can get the jigsaw in nice and easy. masking tape is around as well just so that the plate bit here doesn't scratch the actual bonnet it's going to be seen actually got a bit of weight to it you know You know how I mentioned earlier that I mask and taped an extra area around just to protect it from the plate of the jigsaw? Well, turns out I didn't mask and tape a big enough area and did in fact scratch the bonnet. I'm hoping I can buff most of it out, but I thought I'd share my mistakes with you so that you can see it's okay to get things wrong. It's all about a learning process. So now to adhere the bonnet vents to the car, I'm using Stixel. This is the same as Tiger Seal. 
essentially it's going to adhere it to the car and it's going to be waterproof and also heat resistant so it's perfect for the job. Now with it glued onto the car I put a weight on top to make sure it adhered all around perfectly and I left it overnight to cure. Okay, so it's the next day and we're back. I guess it's time to remove the weights and see what it looks like underneath. Now I may have been a bit heavy handed with the stick saw and there was a bit of overspill, but that's fine. It's really easy just to clear away any excess. Just going to quickly clear away all the protective measures I put in place and hoover up any leftover metal. That way you can get an idea of what the final look of the car is and see what you think of these new bonnet vents. That's how they look from the inside. Now there will be some overspill on bits but ultimately it's looking pretty good. The only water that's going to go in is literally a very small amount and it's, it's really not going to cause any problems. It's going to be such a small amount. It's going to be just as much water going in there, if not less than you'd get from the front grill and just splash back up from the bottom of the road. I think it really transforms the front look of the car. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, please subscribe as I am only a small channel, so every little helps and I'll catch you in the next video.